Well, good morning and welcome to Church Online. We hope that you had a really great Christmas and enjoyed celebrating the birth of Jesus with those around you. Maybe opening a few presents and eating a little bit too much, maybe. Um, this morning, we want to welcome you to our Chris Dingle service. It's going to be a little bit different to usual, but even though we're not meeting in person, we can still gather to worship God and have fun together. But what is a Chris Dingle service, I hear you ask? Well, Chris Dingle is a candlelit festival celebration that was first invented by the Moravian Church in the 1700s. But the celebration as we know it today was introduced to the Church of England by the Children's Society in the 1960s. The celebration is named after the Chris Dingles that are lit during the service. Chris Dingles are made from an orange decorated with red tape, sweets, and a candle, but a bit more about that later. Chris Dingle services have helped raise millions of pounds for the Children's Society to help this country's most vulnerable children. As we are unable to give to the Children's Society in the usual ways, you can scan this QR code or go to this web page to get to the St Augustine's Children's Society giving page. So, now let's join together and worship God by singing and remembering that we can also worship God by playing instruments and by dancing. So wherever you are, find a bit of space. If you want to, please stand and let's worship God and raise the roof with joy to the world. Shout for joy. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive a King. Let every heart prepare in room, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and
So, who are the Children's Society? Let's find out. Well, the Children's Society are an organisation who run vital local services that provide vulnerable children across the country with support and advice and guidance that they need. They work with refugee and migrant children. They work in areas of poverty. They work with care leavers and with families in crisis, to name a few. They are working to create a society where every child has hope for their future. OK. How did they form? Well, the Children's Society was formed in 1881 by a Sunday school teacher, Edward Rudolph, and has supported millions of the country's children and restored hope to their lives. OK, but what do they believe in? Well, they believe in building a society that works for every child so that they're safe and happy and free to fulfil their incredible potential. That sounds really good. What yeah. can I do if I want to find out more about them? Well, whether you are a young person who needs help or an adult who wants more information, you can go to the thechildrensociety.org UK where you will find a wealth of information and advice. So how am I going to take part in this service today? Oh, um, I don't know. Uh, Julie and Ian, have you got any ideas? So, we can tell you exactly how you can take part in our service today. For those of you who have been to Christingle before, this is what you might expect a Christingle to look like. But I don't expect any of you have got something like this at home, have you? What you are going to do is make a representation of a Christingle from everyday household objects that you can find around your house. There's no right or wrong things that you can use to make up your Christingle. Feel free to be really creative with the items you choose. And it'd be really great if you could share pictures of your Christingle in the chat later. So a Christingle usually has an orange which represents the world, God's good creation. It then has red tape or ribbon going around the orange that represents the love and blood of Jesus who gave his life for us. The candle which represents Jesus, the light of the world, born at Christmas time. And finally, the four cocktail sticks and the dried fruits or sweets representing all the good things in creation that God has given us. Some people also think that the four cocktail sticks represent the four seasons. But as we've already said today, we're going to do it differently. We're going to ask you to make a Christingle from the things you have at home. And once you've found each element, we're going to pause for a moment and think about the meaning of it. So let's begin. The Bible in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 31 tells us that God made the world and all that is in it and that God was pleased with what he had made. I wonder what can you find that represents the world to you? Maybe something beautiful, maybe something round, it could be a photo of a landscape, a globe or a ball, a world map, pebbles, feathers, shells. Use your imagination. Why not press pause on this video for a moment while you go and find something. So we found a globe. I wonder what you found at home. Let's take a few moments to think about God's wonderful world. What part of creation are you particularly grateful for today? A special place maybe, a creature, another person. Just think about that for a moment. Thank you, God, for those places, creatures and people that we've been thinking of. Amen. Amen. Now, sadly, 
We've all been guilty of damaging God's creation or not appreciating it enough. So let's take a moment to say sorry to God for our part in that now. Father God, we are sorry for the part we play in spoiling your world. Help us to appreciate everything around us. Amen. Amen. Back to Julie and Nigel. Uh, hey guys, what did you find to represent the world? The next part of the Christingle is the red tape or ribbon. What does this represent? That's right, it represents the love and the blood of Jesus who gave his life for us and the whole world. We can read about this in John chapter 3 verse 16. What can you find in your home that is red or represents love to you? It could be some red string or wool, a scarf, a family photo, a piece of jewellery or a heart shape. Be creative. Why not press pause again whilst you go and find something? We found this picture of our family in this lovely frame. Quite an old picture, actually. What have you found at your home? Now, let's take a few moments to think about God's love and the people who love us. Who is special to you? Whose love are you grateful for today? Think about that for a moment. Father God, thank you for all those different people we have just thought about. Thank you that they are part of our lives and we are part of theirs. Amen. This time of year, some are feeling lonely or sad. Let's pray for them now. Lord Jesus, we pray for all those who are lonely and sad. We ask that you will be with them and show us how we can wrap ourselves around them. Amen. Amen. Now, let's find out what Julian Ian found to represent love. Here's our representation of love. We found a heart we were given when we got married. So the next thing to think about is the candle. What does the candle represent? That's right. The candle represents Jesus, the light of the world, who brings joy and hope to all. In John chapter 12, verse 46, we read, I have come into the world as a light so that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. I wonder what you can find that represents light to you. Maybe it's a decorative or scented candle, maybe a lamp or a torch or a mobile phone with its lights switched on. Be creative with the things you find. So it's time to press pause again and go and find your item. We've got a candle. What have you found? Let's take a few moments to reflect on Jesus, light of the world, bringer of joy and hope to all. I want you to think for a moment about all the things that make you full of joy. Some people, such as the vulnerable children and young people supported by the Children's Society, don't feel joyful or hopeful. 
and many of them are struggling. Father God, we thank you for all the things that we thought of that make us full of joy. We pray for the many children and young people that the Children's Society support who have no joy and ask that the support they get will help to bring them joy and hope. Amen. Amen. So let's find out what Julie and Nigel found to represent Jesus, the light of the world. Over to you. We found a head torch that I use when we go camping. Okay, so finally, what do we need to do to finish our Christingle? Yes, that's right. We need the cocktail sticks and sweet or dried fruits. These represent all the good things that God gives us in creation. Psalm 104 verses 14 and 15 say, You let the earth produce grass for cattle, plants for our food, wine to cheer us up, olive oil for our skin and grain for our health. What can you find that represents the good things God gives you? A Christingle usually has four sticks, one for each season. Instead of finding just one item this time, why not let everyone in the house choose their own item that represents the good things from God? It could be food, a favourite animal toy, a natural item, a plant, or maybe you've got some Christmas chocolate left over. It's time to pause and go and find your items. We've found bacon and maple crisps. Also, this little uh, figurine of brother and sister for uh, reminds us of our two children. And I've got a soft, cuddly donkey that reminds me of the talk I did on donkeys on Palm Sunday a few years ago. The last one could be a bit controversial. You either love it or you hate it, and I love it. What are your items? So I wonder which season you are most grateful for. What are your favourite foods? What is your favourite animal? Let's thank God for them now. Let's pray. Thank you God for season, food and animal. And we especially thank you for the one we thought of just now. Amen. Some people in our country and in the world do not have enough food, even though there is plenty to go round. Let's just think about them and pray for them now. Dear God, we pray now for those who haven't got enough to eat. We ask that those who have will be generous and share. Amen. Amen. So, now you have collected all your things together, we thought it would be a good idea to arrange them in front of you and then light your light source. We'd love you to take a photograph and then share that in the chat. Whilst your light is lit, let's sing Away in a Manger together. A 
said already Christingle services raise money for the children's society so now we're going to watch a short video so you can see what they do and how they spend your money don't forget that you can donate using the QR code or the web address at the bottom of the page thank you for sharing the light of Christingle and helping disadvantaged children and young people in the darkest of situations. We've all been through a lot this year, and unfortunately, disadvantaged young people have been some of the hardest hit by the pandemic. For the young carers who have been shouldered with more responsibility than ever. The young people who have experienced devastating effects on their mental health. Or the missing children who have nowhere to shelter for the night. We need your kindness more than ever. Together, we can rekindle the hope inside these vulnerable children and provide the safety net they so urgently need. Your Christingle donations will help run vital services all across the country, helping children through one-to-one -one counselling and dedicated project workers. You can guide the most vulnerable children to a brighter future. The kindness of Christinglers like you will help bring hope and optimism to the lives of young people. Please give what you can today and let children in this country know just how much they matter. Thank you. We come to a time of prayer and we'd like to teach you a simple response that we'd like you to join in with. It goes like this. We are the light of Christ for the world. Shall we just try that again? We are the light of Christ for the world. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus that you are the light of the world and that you have passed on that light to us through your cross and resurrection. We are the light of Christ for the world. Thank you, Jesus, that your light is stronger than darkness and you have passed on the power of that light to us by your Holy Spirit. We are the light of Christ for the world. Thank you, Jesus, that your light is shining through the work of the Children's Society, bringing hope and happiness 
to children and young people in dark times. We are the light of Christ for the world. Thank you, Jesus, that as we pass your light in the care that we give to others, your light never dies but continues to give light to the whole world. We are the light of Christ for the world. In this Christmas season, may your light shine brighter and brighter as we celebrate your light in us and through us for your glory. We are the light of Christ for the world. Amen. So let's join together and say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Ding dong, 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 Ding-dong, barely the sky is ringing with angels singing Glory, Hosanna in excelsis Ding-dong, being so here below below The steeple bells we swung in And the yo 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 by priest and people sung in Glory, Hosanna in excelsis Ding-dong Celebration starts in glory Hosanna in excelsis glory Hosanna in excelsis Ding dong 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 Ding dong, ding dong, deck doors with bows of holly, fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 la. Strike the harp and join the chorus, fa la 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 la. All together sing me joyous, fa la 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 la. Well, thank you for joining with us today. Next week we'll be back in church in person again. But for now, we just want to wish you all a very happy new year and we'll see you in 2021. We go in peace to, to share, share the, the peace, peace of God, God with all we meet. We go in love to, to share God's, God's gift of love with, with the, the world. world. We go in the light of Christ to, to shine, shine as lights, lights in the world, world to the glory of God the Father and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you this Christmas time and forevermore. Amen. Amen.